Knowing where to start in a city as large and diverse as Kansas City can be difficult. That's why we're putting together a list of the top 10 things to see and do in this vibrant metropolis. Number 1. Visit the Nelson Atkins Museum of Art. This museum has some of the most impressive collections from North America, Europe, Asia, and African cultures. The Antiquities Collection consists of Greek, Roman, and Near East pieces that date back to the second millennium BC. The newest addition to this collection is the inner coffin of Meritites from Egypt. This piece is ornate and will surely be a hit with anyone visiting the museum. It is not necessary to be an art lover to appreciate the beautiful surroundings and the sculpture park, where you can take a walk, play sports, have a picnic, or take a guided audio tour. You can also enjoy the museum's collection of African art representing 2,500 years of craftsmanship with more than 400 works in various media, and Native American artifacts including basket work, pottery, and quill work. The European art collection ranges from medieval times to the 1800s, focusing on the 19th century Impressionism and post-Impressionism painting and the 17th century Italian Baroque art. There are also galleries for Chinese, Japanese, American, contemporary, and modern art. Number 2. Explore Kansas City Zoo In recent years, the Kansas City Zoo has undergone major renovations and improvements, becoming one of the top family attractions in the area. With over 200 species of wildlife worldwide, the zoo is filled with animals that have been carefully placed in habitats that mirror their natural homes. The zoo puts a great deal of emphasis on providing a high quality of life for all of its residents, including African elephants, rhinos, leopards, giraffes, wallabies, and various species of primates, like Bornean orangutans, blue monkeys, chimpanzees, and more. At the Kansas City Zoo, Visitors can watch penguins sliding and swimming in the Heiselberg Penguin Plaza, see orangutans playing and learning at the Orangutan University, and touching stingrays at Stingray Bay, and feed giraffes, camels, penguins, and rhinos. The zoo also has a 1,300-gallon jellyfish tank and a 20,000-gallon stingray touch tank. Number 3. Take a walk through Kaufman Memorial Garden. The Kaufman Memorial Garden provides a beautiful and peaceful oasis for the residents of Kansas City, with two acres of gardens featuring both perennials and annual beds, as well as a variety of decorative and shade trees. The park, built in 2000, also features several bronze sculptures by artist Tom Corbin and fountains and stone landscaping. Parking and garden admission is free. Tours are arranged in advance by contacting the Muriel McBrien Kaufman Family Foundation. The entire park is wheelchair accessible, making it enjoyable for everyone. You can also find the lovely Jacob L. Luce Park, a 75-acre public park with a 1.5-acre rose garden with 130 varieties. Number 4. Check out Legoland. Legoland is not only a place where you can find Lego replicas of some of Kansas City's most iconic landmarks, but is also home to interactive rides, shows, and workshops. Inspiring builders of all ages can talk to the master builders, catch photo ops with their favorite Lego characters, and attend workshops. The 4D Cinema offers a full sensory experience with different shows throughout the day, and the rides are sure to please everyone in the family. The Ninja Go training camp is perfect for kids who need to burn off some energy. And the laser maze is a fun challenge for all. So when you visit Legoland, you're sure to have a fun-filled day that the whole family will enjoy. Number 5. Explore Arabia Steamboat Museum With the loss of Arabia, pioneers heading west lost more than just a steamboat. They also lost access to 400,000 pounds of supplies that were essential for daily life. The boat and its contents were preserved in a time capsule for more than 130 years, providing a unique glimpse into the past. Today, visitors to the museum can watch staff clean and restore artifacts from the boat. Collections include a wide range of everyday items from toys and tools to cookware and china sets. The museum also has exhibits showcasing the glory days of steamboats on the mighty Missouri, 
a river that claimed hundreds of steamboats beneath its waters. Number 6. Visit the National World War I Museum and Memorial. The National World War I Museum in Kansas City is a must-see for history buffs. The museum is located at Liberty Memorial, an impressive Egyptian revival-style monument erected in 1928 to honor the men and women who served and died in the war. With more than 75,000 items, the collection is one of the world's largest. You can walk through a recreation of a crater left behind after a French farmhouse was struck by a howitzer shell. With six reproduced scenes, you can also experience what it looked and sounded like inside the trenches. Number 7. Explore the Hallmark Visitor Center In the Hallmark Visitor Center, located in the Crown Center Complex, you can explore the history of the greeting card industry and learn about how Joyce Hall turned a small operation into a global phenomenon. The center's exhibit include interactive stations and film and is also home to Kaleidoscope, a children's creative center. You can use various materials to create your own art in these 50-minute sessions, led by Hallmark's creative staff. These sessions are free of charge. Number 8. Admire Art at Kemper Museum of Contemporary Art The Kemper Museum of Contemporary Art is a great place to view a wide variety of contemporary artwork. The permanent collection contains works by renowned artists such as Georgia O'Keeffe, Robert Mapplethorpe, and William Wegman. In addition, visitors can enjoy free docent-led or drop-in tours on Saturdays. The museum also offers programs and workshops for youth, teens, adults, and families. Number 9. Learn at Science City at Science City, families can explore the many interactive exhibits focused on science. This top attraction in Union Station is perfect for kids of all ages, with exhibits that focus on various aspects of science. For example, visitors can test the physics properties in the Force and Motion exhibit. The Every Last Drop exhibit explores the unique properties of water and the many ways we depend on it. You can also learn about paleontology in the DinoLab or explore the properties of food in the demo area. The planetarium, nature center, and special events are also great features of the Science City. Number 10. Visit Union Station, Kansas City. Union Station is a beautiful, imposing building constructed in 1914 to accommodate thousands of passengers. It included a huge 10,000 person capacity waiting room. However, due to a decline in railway service, the station closed in the 1980s and underwent major renovations. It reopened in 1999 with new shops, restaurants, and services, and now functions primarily as an Amtrak stop. Despite its smaller railway role today, Union Station is still one of Kansas City's main tourist attractions. With its impressive architecture, Union Station has so many interesting things to do inside, such as visiting Science City, watching a movie at Renier Extreme Screen Theater, checking out Arvin Gottlieb Planetarium, and seeing a play at City Stage Theater. We've only begun to cover the attractions and activities that Kansas City has to offer. You could easily spend weeks here and still not see everything this great city offers.